Hello, Yakri here with another Warframe video. So this time I want to talk about beam weapons even more! Uh, this time about a specific, like, uh, crazy rumor about the way that beam weapons work. In particular, some people have said weird things like AoE beam weapons like the Ignis, Amprex, and At Atomos have been the least affected by the uh, nerf slash fix where beam weapons started ramping up or now ramp up to damage uh, per target instead of for their clip. And this is bullshit. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I have no idea why someone would think this. And clearly someone just decided to claim this shit because... I have no fucking clue, honestly. But let's let's take a look at this, right? So uh, first off, uh, Ignis ramping up in damage, right? Look, there it goes. It's this is just pure radiation damage, so it just goes up to 68, and you're seeing 68 crits, right? You should be able to see those pretty clearly in the video, just popping up all the time there, uh, or those, those ticks, whatever. The the hit damage ticks are a little harder to see, but they're the same too, right? The little 68 damage hits, and there's like 354 damage hits as well. I think those are slash procs, but anyway, so that's something neat. Now let's look, if we angle these guys a little bit, right, you should be able to see the damage on the second enemy more clearly ramp up as well, right? So watch. Now it's kind of hard to tell which is which, but you should be able to see some numbers coming off that other guy, and they're ramping up, or they've ramped up now, right, and they're at full damage. And if I just change over to him, I'm already at full damage, right? And now each enemy you hit does ramp up, right? So, like, uh, if I wait a bit here, like, I'm doing low damage again. But uh, since it ramps up f per enemy, right, for every enemy you're hitting, well, it's pretty, you're in a pretty good situation because you're going to be hitting three enemies at a time. It'll ramp all of them up to full damage. And uh, it's almost like you don't have a per enemy ramp up time because your weapon is AoE. Uh, so that's really nice, right? And let's, and there's this other claim about the Amprex, right? Uh, in particular, that the Amprex has this problem where the chain, uh, chained enemies, right, will take no da like almost no damage, right? That it's the minimum damage uh, instead of uh, ramping up, right? So the, the claim is that the main target ramps up in damage, right? And the chained two target does not ramp up in damage. None of the chained tar two targets ramp up in damage. They stay at 10% of the base damage. This is unsurprisingly bullshit, um, but it's a little bit harder to take a look at. What you're going to look for is that the Amprex is going to hit... I'm going to hit one guy. We're going to hit this guy right here. And uh, it's going to chain to one of these other guys near him, right? And the first target it chains to is going to take... Actually, you know what? I should, I should go to these guys. I haven't touched them yet. Uh, the first target it's going to chain to is going to take half damage, right? And uh, the third target is going to take one-fourth damage and so on. So it is. it should be about half damage. It might be a little uneven due to proc RNG, but it should be very close to half damage. Whereas if, if this bullshit on the internet is correct, then it should be 10% damage like dramatic change like instead of 1500 damage uh from the main main target you'll see like 150 right and that's not gonna happen all right you will have just seen a jump cut that's because i had my gas gas damage mod build on the amprex which you know doesn't really change the results except that you can't fucking see any of the numbers because it creates too many numbers all right, so we're on corrosive damage, which should let us uh, see this a little more clearly, although we're going to have to wait a bit for the ramp up because the corrosive is going to ramp up damage as well, okay? So, if you look at this dude here, right? Fuck, it should be, <laughs> I might need to slow down the video or something. You should you should have seen for like a second it was taking about 1,000 damage a tick, where my primary target was taking around 2,000 damage a tick, right? This is pretty much to be expected, right? The numbers are a little bit off because of crits and because of status procs, right? But uh, pretty much pretty reliable there. We can see that one. This this dude, right, was taking 1200s when I was at like 2600. It's not like quite exactly perfectly half. It's a little weird, but uh, yeah, there you go. All right, Amprex works exactly like you would expect it to. Uh, all of the beam weapons that hit multiple targets work exactly like you would expect them to. Damage ramps up on each target up to full damage that they're hitting. Uh, and yeah, it's not a really big problem. Uh, there seems to be a bug with uh, the, the, the damage ramp up uh, not ramping back down in evenly, right? Which it's supposed to do. It's supposed to ramp back down evenly. So, you know, one second ramp up, it means it takes one second for you to lose all your damage. Now, something to note, 
note in this is that if, if they ever if they fix that, hopefully that'll happen soon, um, so that that doesn't happen, then you'll be able to change targets to like the the, the, the second guy who's getting changed to by the Amprex, actually any of the targets the Amprex is chaining to, if that's your new target after the main target dies, then you'll already be ramped up, right? And in fact, if they were lined up or something, right, you know, like uh, you could potentially make that happen, right, uh, without actually losing uh, your stack damage, I think, maybe. It'd have to be hitting like two targets at once or something. It'd be, it'd be kind of weird with it if the fall off is instant. I'm not. I haven't actually tested that in detail, so maybe I shouldn't trust the internet that the fall off is truly instant. But that is a story for another video. Anyway, so that that hopefully uh, satisfies that. There is one other thing. Actually, I kind of want to do, which is basically someone was claiming that uh, oh, these guys I killed a few of that uh, you can't like uh, that if you you swipe a beam weapon over a crowd, no matter how fast you swipe it. Uh, you're gonna hit every enemy in that crowd. Like if you touch them at all, you'll hit them. Now, if you if you're not very fast, that may seem to be the case because as you swipe over a crowd, uh, there's gonna be ticks per second, right? I think the amp my Amprex probably has like 12 or 16 ticks per second. That's pretty. That's pretty freaking often, right? 16 times a second. It's hard not to get an enemy with at least one tick, right? Um, but it is possible, and that's because it is 12 ray casts per second. Essentially, the Amprex shoots out, like, a baseline 12 bullets per second, right? That's how the fire rate works. And these bullets are just like hitscan weapon bullets. They're not different in any way, except that they don't deal damage past a certain point, right? Um, I mean, that's just how ray casting in video games works. Uh, it is a hitscan weapon, essentially. It's just limited range and slightly different, like, actual game mechanics around it, right? So, let's do this, right? Okay, so we hit those guys there. Didn't hit those guys. Uh, let's see if we wait for these. Uh, wait for the shim I wait for the shimmer to go off, or should I go to the other crowd? Right. I think I need to. I need to kill some guys. We're gonna just throw this on as an afterthought, just, just because you know someone, someone in the comments. If I only do it once, they're gonna say like, "Well, you jerked up a little bit there. That's why you didn't hit the other two, right? That's why you didn't get the last two. Well, I tried this a bunch of times just to make sure, and uh, yeah, still didn't have any problems. Well, I guess a. I think you could, I think you could make a weapon's fire rate high enough, right? I think in-game, like if you had a ribbon mod for fire rate and base fire rate, right, increase and all the base fire rate increases, I think you could get it high enough that even if you swiped it across as fast as possible, you'd still hit each enemy at least once because uh, you'd be firing like every other frame and you might spend at least one frame on each enemy. Yeah, like you yeah, anyway, basically, if your fire rate is high enough, right, it, it's effectively a continuous beam, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. That's probably too slow, huh? Oh, no! No, no, I still didn't get this guy, right? Okay. Yeah, oh, and the Amprex, actually, it's even easier to do, because if you fucking, if I hit, like, this guy, it can potentially chain to that guy. So I'm not sure I even hit three of them. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's That pretty much covers that. I mean, I don't know why the fuck someone decided that they... They totally knew that there was some different, uh, I guess it's just ignorance is, ignorance is irritating. That's, that's the word for it. But I'm sure this is not a surprise to most people because most avid gamers are at least vaguely familiar with how, like, the, the bullets and stuff in video games usually work. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you like my content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or, you know, flame me if you don't like it. It's, it's fun. It's fun. We can have an argument in the comments. It's always a good time. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for now. Yakri out.